It's a land of chateaus and saints, besties and picturesque medieval towns, touched by the sun king and kissed by the sun gods to help produce its famous wines. Bienvenue au village curieux de France. While we will always have Paris, there is more to Belle France than just the city of light. France is an incredibly curious country filled with ancient history, Renaissance chateaux, mysterious underground labyrinths, and picture perfect fairy tale villages. So, here's what I'm curious about in France's storybook villages. Why is there a church sticking out of this rock? Why are these streets so windy and so wobbly? Is this Diagon Alley? Why is everyone driving through this church? How did this tower contribute to the Age of Enlightenment? Why is this giant wall here in this small village? Why is this gate shaped like this? Why are there worms on this beautiful chateau? <coughs> Who, what, where, why, and how? We begin our curious journey into France's storybook villages in a place where a church rises out of a rock overlooking quaint saint Emilion. The village of saint Emilion was named after a Benedictine monk that let's just say he was a bit of a loner. This is the bell tower behind me that marks the center of town, but the really interesting part is what's underneath the bell tower. There's not only catacombs and secret tunnels, but saint Emilion's home. Like I said, he was a bit of a loner. Saint Emilion was an 8th century monk who fled the Benedictine order and hid out in a cave near this spot. He was said to have performed miracles, so he attracted a following, was later named the patron saint of this town, and this church was later built in his honor. But the church itself looks a bit like a miracle too, right? This is a monolithic church, a UNESCO World Heritage Site carved directly out of the rock it stands on. Ooh. And it gets even more curious. There's a whole labyrinth of tunnels and catacombs, a beautiful little chapel, mysterious religious carvings, and Saint Emilion's bed. Huh? Yep, that's right. Legend has it that he slept right here, underground in the hermitage, on this oh-so-snuggly rock. Cozy. Uh. Back above ground, the church became a stop along the legendary pilgrimage route to Santiago de Compostela. And it's a rocky and windy pilgrimage full of tertres, meaning earth mounds, with bumpy British cobblestones laid on top. Hello. But why are these cobblestones British instead of French? Well, because of a wedding and some wine. It all goes back to the 1100s when Eleanor, the Duchess of this region of France, the Aquitaine, married the King of England. This union made the wine trade boom between the two countries and around the world. English boats sailed here, weighed down with English stone. Once they arrived in Saint Emilion, they dumped the stones and replaced them with French wine barrels to trade around the world. These are those very stones turned into beautiful little fairy tale streets. 